Hello everyone and welcome back to Mixing Continents. Today we're diving into one of the world's most versatile cocktails, the daiquiri. I think I'm safe to say whether you're a seasoned bartender, an alcoholic or simply someone who enjoys a cold pint down your local boozer, I'm sure you've come across this timeless classic before. But for anyone in a hurry, here's a 30 second spec. The daiquiri is a simple cocktail that only requires three ingredients. That's 60 milliliters or two ounces of white rum, 22.5 milliliters or three quarters of an ounce of freshly squeezed lime juice, and 15 milliliters or half an ounce of simple syrup. It's a shaken cocktail. You want to serve it in a chilled coupe glass, although I'll be using a Nicanora. And for garnish, finish with a lime wheel. So while the origins of many cocktails are shrouded in mystery, the daiquiri has a fairly well documented history and many would agree it was first crafted in the early 20th century by American mining engineer Jennings Cox towards the end of the American Spanish War in the small mining town of Daiquiri in Cuba. Although one could argue some locals may have been drinking something fairly similar for many years prior, but nevertheless this refreshing creation gained international recognition, becoming an instant classic that's cherished worldwide. Now let's dive into the art of crafting this classic cocktail. You need a few essential tools, a sharp knife for cutting garnish, a Mexican elbow to juice your limes, and of course, a trusty cocktail shaker, a jigger, and both a fine and hawthorn strainer to ensure a smooth pour. Next, for the ingredients we'll be using for this drink, we'll need a quality white rum, which will form the backbone of this cocktail. I'm using Bacardi Carta Blanca, as per the original recipe, and for its deep roots in Cuban history. For our citrus, we'll incorporate freshly squeezed lime juice to give us that zesty kick. Finally, we'll balance our flavours with a touch of simple syrup, which is essentially a one-to-one -one mix of sugar and water, creating the perfect marriage between sweet and sour. I'll be using some that I made the other day with Demerara sugar, which I prefer as it's less refined than white sugar and retains more of that natural molasses content, which imparts a richer, more complex flavour to your syrup, which holds subtle notes of toffee, caramel and vanilla. Now let's prepare the garnish, this one doesn't have to be too complicated, so you want to start by taking a nice plump lime and with a sharp knife cut a thin wheel from the middle and then you can use what's left for the lime juice later on. This will serve as our visual accent for the cocktail and for mine I'm also going to be charring it slightly to add to the aroma and because well, I think it looks nicer. So to make the drink make sure to chill your glass, I'll be adding a few cubes of ice and a splash of water. Then add some ice to your shaker and start by adding in your ingredients. Begin with 15 milliliters of simple syrup. Then squeeze 22.5 milliliters of fresh lime juice. And finally, combine that with 60 milliliters of your chosen white rum. Then seal your tins and give it a good shake, allowing the ingredients to work their magic. When you're done, remove the ice from your chilled glass. Then double strain to make sure you remove all of the loose ice shards in your drink. Then for your garnish, place the lime wheel delicately on the rim of the glass. And there you have it, the daiquiri. A testament to simplicity and balanced flavors. It's crisp, citrusy and refreshing, making it a great choice for cocktail enthusiasts around the world. And one of the many things that I love about this drink is its ability to adapt. As you all know, there's endless variations out there by simply infusing your rum, using flavored syrups or by adding a touch of puree, you can turn this drink into some delicious twists. But anyways, that's the daiquiri. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe. And for more recipes and adventures, you can visit my blog at mixandmooch.com. But until next time, cheers, and I'll see you on the next video.